Well, the, the New York Times article called us, uh, I think it was Westchester's most ambitious chorus, which I think is really an apt description of us because you're taking a chorus that has a real diverse group of people with varying levels of ability and musical experience who haven't been auditioned and we're doing the Mozart C minor mass. At the same time, you take those same singers, as again, some of whom don't read music, don't have a lot of choral experience, and you start having them sing all a cappella Russian. I think that's pretty ambitious. The chorus is, I would say, 60 years old. It started in one of the local high schools as an intervillage education program. And when the program was finished, the singers wanted to continue to sing. In many ways, our group is the face of the community. And we are the community. We are the people who live in Westchester. And uh, we hope that with our concerts, we enlighten people. We make their life more enjoyable. I'm an executive secretary at Phelps Memorial Hospital. I retired five years ago after managing my husband's dental practice. I am a garden designer. I'm an opera singer and I'm currently singing with two opera houses down the city. I'm a retired physical therapist and I help my husband manage uh, real estate and a small factory. I'm an accountant. I am an attorney specializing in civil litigation at the university and college level. I'm a retired French teacher and sculptor. The people in the chorus range from people my age to folks who are probably older to be my parents. I initially joined the chorus because I saw advertised that they were doing the Bach St. Matthew Passion, a work that I had always loved and never dreamed I would be able to perform, but here was the opportunity, and um, I leapt at it. I had a lot of musical training uh, when I was younger, and when I moved here after college, I didn't have a place to you know, express that passion, and then I found lots of Valley Singers, I found Eugene, and I thought, here is this person who is so incredibly talented and just a master of his craft, I really wanted to learn from this person. Eleven years ago, it was uh, quite an experience. He took a piece of music that uh, we had sung before and within about 20 minutes turned it into something that was quite breathtaking. And um, we we're very lucky to have Eugene. I sang in a chorus myself when I was a little boy. I sang when my voice has changed in the conservatory. I sang in many various choruses. And I worked with many different choruses from high school and community chorus to the Metropolitan Opera Chorus. Um, Eugene is a fascinating uh, person. When he first started with us, he would have liked us to be the Metropolitan Chorus because his demands were remarkable. I admire Eugene's um, perfectionism. You could sit there and listen to him for 10 minutes explain why a certain 16th note should be sung this way instead of that way. It's, it's almost like having your daily vitamins, I mean my weekly vitamin of, of culture. No matter what my week is like, I know that Wednesday is going to have moments of absolute sublime. To sing with people who are there purely for the love of singing, and not just because they have to be. It's great to be able to come back to singers and just reconnect with why I do what I do. We have a, a program that uh, brings in high school students uh, to sing with us for a semester or two and we introduce them to choral singing on a large scale. Music is, is a life-changing experience. It was a life-changing experience for myself and I believe for many people who sing with us it is as well. And how could you not see that when you come to a concert and you're inspired by that music? What we give is beyond just that performance. We have a, a subset of our group that goes and does performances in nursing homes and libraries. These are free concerts that are really designed to give something of the group back to the community. Because of its contribution to the community uh, with musical productions, uh, because of the internships offered to high school students, and because of the outreach that we do with the small choral group uh, into underserved areas, I think that it's a very good organization to support.
we go through these rehearsals and we sing every week and sometimes I feel like we're never we're never gonna get there, we're never gonna achieve the perfection that Eugene wants. But once we reach the concert and we do perform, it's it's exhilarating. And I mean to bring this music to the audience and to see their faces light up with joy because they're hearing this music, to walk off the stage still hearing the applause ringing, it's it's a high, it's a rush. I, I love it, it's wonderful. Performance is my favorite part because I am a bit of a ham, but I enjoy when I can look out into the audience and see that there, as Arthur Rubinstein used to say, come, go to the music with me. And I also enjoy making music when I look in Eugene's eyes and I realize that we are making music together. That to me is the highest form. If somebody would be interested in joining a chorus, I would tell them two very important things. One is there's no audition, so a lot of people are threatened by auditions. And uh, our musical director, Eugene Sirotkin, is uh, a very sensitive musician and, uh, and yet very patient and yet demanding. So he brings out the best in all of us. It's an opportunity to be next to greatness, to exist with greatness. And uh, that's no small thing in today's world of petty trivialities. We welcome everyone to join our group, whether you have or have not had any musical experience. The only requirement is you need to want to sing. Just come sing with us. We will, um, we will love doing it. And um, we would love to have you with us. Thank you.